We now return to Let's Play Caesar 3. So, uh, turns out that there were some settings on a hidden page that were necessary for this. So now this works, and that's really good for me. Um, I'm going to lower the speed down just a bit. Let's go back in here now. I've got tons of people. Uh, there's a couple things I need to do coming up. Apparently, uh, there is going to be a time when I will need... I do not know why the hell you are going this way and it's pissing me off. Um, I'm going to need to have a... What in the hell? Engineer's post. I don't like that they swapped the menus. They changed everything in the menus, and it's, uh, it's really confusing and annoying. I'm going to put you over here instead, how about? Um, okay, a few things. So, uh, prefects are apparently not necessary for some ungodly reason on this map. It was not explained, uh, but things just won't catch fire, I guess. And if you don't piss people off, then you don't have to worry about crime. I can't guarantee that, so I'm going to keep some of these guys around. However, I am going to move these out because I've got these blank spots here uh, that are one by that I cannot actually use for anything else that's useful, so we can maybe get some more houses in here and maybe they'll grow up to be the, the two by blocks. Uh, secondly, um, this thing. So, I went on YouTube and I looked for this particular mission and I found six different people who played this map and uh, they've all done different things, like completely different things, but this will eventually have to go. Um, so we need an army and I guess a bunch of missionaries, but eventually we need to get rid of this. Uh, secondly, nobody Nobody uses the housing block layout, um, which is what I'm getting from the Caesar Heaven website, which is where I've gotten all my tips on all of the Impressions games, because I've got Zeus and Pharaoh and all those. Um, so this layout apparently is one that absolutely nobody uses in any map, and you can see why, because there's no room for it. Um, other tips and tricks people used are what I consider cheating, because apparently there's a thing where if you get close enough to this cliff, you can actually build up here, and it will count uh, as can, uh, get, getting down here. So they've got houses up against the, the cliff side, and then a road, and apparently if you've got a walker who goes along that road, it will distribute goods to the people down below, which is um, unrealistic, obviously, but... Uh, so, I mean... Here's the thing. I need this. This supply chain has to go all the way down here. Eventually, we'll be able to carve this out and build another couple of housing areas over here. That is fine. This is something I need to take care of before I can do that. So this little setup here, which I can get nine uh, farms going, should hopefully handle this. Now, I've, I've misplaced this uh, because it counts as the, the crossroads here, and that's why we were seeing people walk this way. So if I want to line this down here, I, I may as well just actually line it um, as being the, the pathway, getting rid of this pathway altogether. Which is going to make it difficult to uh, control. Because we can get what? Okay, so I could pull it back. I could actually get another one if I maybe changed the way... I don't know if I can change the way that goes. That's about as far over as we can get it. I can get maybe another... I can't. Um, also, one thing I noticed is that... Uh, absolutely everyone makes ugly fucking cities. Like, they don't look like cities at all. They're basically just cramming stuff in everywhere they can to fulfill the requirements, including two of them that have entire sections dedicated to just spamming schools, uh, spamming the other cultural buildings and whatnot, just to meet the requirements uh, for the ratings, which I, um, I have a problem with. <laughs> I have a problem with from just an aesthetic point of view, but also from a game design point of view where it basically looks like those mobile games where if you look up strategies for them, they do that. It's just it's just spamming the same building over and over and over trying to build this. It's not city building. Uh, I will um, try to avoid that as much as possible here. Um, okay, what, what else was I... 
doing here. Right, okay. So we'll get uh, get some farms down here. Um, I need one I need one pig farm. And I need one pig farm because apparently at some point Caesar is going to want to have pigs sent to him. That is literally the only thing. Uh, so we will just have only meat coming here. We'll just accept there, and we will make sure to accept it nowhere else. Um, so I guess I can just delete this one before I do anything there. I like that things disappear automatically now, like immediately. Shit, that's not gonna work, is it? It's still not gonna do it. As it goes there, there. Yeah, so we could get a, a full one in there. Ah, uh, shit. So they will use this, and they will use every little cross piece. This is probably going to be a fucking mess, trying to get this to work. I guess I could maybe just shunt it over there, but I'd really like to leave that open. God, why? Why? I guess I could have this come around in a different way? Like, if I'm just gonna leave this blank, I could have this come this way. Then, nah, fuck it. I don't care. We'll make do. Um... Yeah, I, uh... I am, I am so totally completely unimpressed with the way people play this game. Oh, right. So, um, another another series uh, is done by a Let's Player named GamerZack, and I bring him up because he is... Uh, the His website actually hosts the mod for this game. So, another YouTuber who uh, <laughs> endorses this game, also endorses heavily the uh, the mod that I'm using, but and, and its necessity. Um, but it... Uh, oh fuck, you know what, I can just move that over. Hold on, hold on, let me, let me finish this. Um, so, yeah, so he, he has uh, two videos on this particular map. I'll just do this. Uh, on this particular map, and one of them, which is like his that did it better uh, video, I guess, um, he, it, he, he does it on very difficult or whatever. What the hell is this stupid thing? Um, and he says, he says in that video, Guys, I know I'm making this look easy, but it took me years to learn the strategies that I just showed you. So, even this guy who is who who knows this game, who plays this game, admits that this game is so fucked up that you have to he spent years learning all the special little tricks, the special little ins and outs to make this nonsense work. Yeah, you know, just for aesthetic reasons, I was thinking of putting that in, but that's actually area right there we can we can utilize. Um, yeah, so it's just like it's fucking nuts. The whole game has been that way. I, I also want to point out uh, that this entire time I have been playing on very easy. I've never played a game very easy that you could lose so rapidly on that things would just burn down because that's apparently what they do it's fucking stupid um another thing uh this 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 small temple all apparently this is not a temple to all it means that i'm i'm thinking we're gonna try it here right now yep it alternates um it's merely a thing so you don't have to keep going in here blah, 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 blah. it would be nice if that maybe was a little bit more specified because this doesn't actually tell me shit um, also, yes, these grand temples. Uh, they, they, this mod actually puts in a lot of its own stuff in the game. I applaud them for what they've actually managed to do. Um, I think I would like to uh, delete these. Well, six? Okay, we should have enough. 
moving in. I think so. Because that's 30, and then we've we got here. Yeah, we'll have enough. Um, so we don't want to accept any of that. We're going to have to do this in every single one of them. Uh, I guess there's also a weird thing with how they prioritize delivery in the game. Because there's now options for all sorts of things and you know, prioritizing and whatnot. I don't know, it's all fucked up. Okay, so I'm going to let this thing be a thing um, for a minute. We're going to let things go. I'm not sure how long it's going to take for them to take over. There we go. And as we... I still... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It still doesn't tell me how many people I have room for. That is one of the most useful statistics I could actually have right now. Informing me... Informing me, uh... When, when I have, you know, to, to let me know how much more housing I need to build. So that's 30. There, okay. This should fill this up, I would hope. This pisses me off right here. What the fuck? Why, why is that happening? Why is it considering a diagonal okay and it just crosses the bridge? Let's see if that now pops him out over here. That's fucking annoying. start over. Um, actually, well, that should hopefully... That means I should be able to put it back here now, right? Another thing, I realize this is not sustainable. Um, this is going to take for goddamn ever to get over here. But um, I want to build a series of, uh, like, where, I think warehouses. Somewhere in the midpoint where they can drop off and then they can go uh, bring stuff over here. Let me look at risks here for damage. Okay, this is not working. It should consider this to be a road. So, my understanding then is that this is probably not going to work. These are not going to daisy chain like this. Let's put this here as a test. I should probably have... Okay, so why does that one go, but that one doesn't? I guess because he's touching a road. I just want to point out how fucking ridiculous it is that as soon as he just walked past, it's building up again. Um, oh shit, that's not... Wrong hotkey, um... Let's get an engineer's post here and here, because those are going to fall down. Um, right, I don't need the prefects. I would feel better about having them, mostly for uh, purposes of um, you know keeping people keeping people in line more than more than anything actually useful. We can get rid of that one, put a house in, and then we can go over to our health situation. And this is not going to work out as well for this side, but because they'll be going this way and then they'll get here, but half the other time they'll go here. I don't know if they will go far enough to go around. This might actually... let's not actually do that. It's a perfect spot for them. But I think this is actually going to be bad. You know what? 
one neighborhood can be asymmetrical, I don't care. Um, we'll go ahead and get rid of those. Because we don't necessarily need that. Alright, well this is not sustainable. This was just a thing, so I want to... I guess bring it down here. You know what? I'm going to need so many of these guys. There you go. I'm going to need so many of these guys, I may as well just leave it open. Uh, that is actually good, because then it allows me to build a loop in here. So I can build a clay loop in here. Uh, up along the side of the wall, I can do... marble? Well, it should actually be perhaps a weapon, right? With marble over here. Uh, apparently the uh, trade partner will change, will shift. So that's something to consider as well. Uh... Um, bum, 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 bum. <sighs> what else? <laughs> um, right, so because weaponry, because weaponry, and because we are out of goddamn money, um, let's do that. We've got a lot of people here. Let's put them to work here. Let's keep the, the early trade centers over here, um, because it's all by land, so they all gotta come by the road here. I think that'd be a, a better choice than setting it up down here. Uh, you can set it up along these rocks here. Um, I've seen, I've seen that in the playthroughs. This is going to be, this is going to be a bit of a mess. So, hmm. I think I can actually just put it down now. I do not know where those missions are, however. Mission post. So I don't know, I, they spam them down. Let's let's take care of our money situation before we go worrying about that. So, we're going to be looking at, not farms, raw materials, iron mines. I don't know that there is good way I'm going to be able to optimize this. So if I do a pathway here... Oh, okay. Raw materials, iron mine. Getting a little janky here, so that's what, 40 people right there? Let's actually just do this here. Knowing that we're gonna bring it in like this. With it stuck out here, it's gonna go in like that. I'd just like to make the circuit now while I still can. I don't know how many. One thing I do have to say, uh, I'm pretty impressed by the dedication in this mod. It's not just, you know, Julius is simplified, but it's simplified to maintain the integrity of the game. It's very much meant to, to keep the vanilla flavor of the game, it just adds a little bit of improvement. This is a full conversion mod, basically. Uh, it, it adds a whole lot of things that... Uh, it, it's impressive. I mean, the, the temples, the monuments, that lighthouse thing, all of those sprites were created specifically for this game. Or for the mod, I should say. Uh, yeah, the, we don't want to put that there, because that's... do the diagonal shit. Um, so that's really cool. Okay. 
So this needs to be explained to me. Why is it... Okay, they just got moved in there. I was going to say, the in the original layout for this menu, statues and, and whatnot were supposed to be down here. So yeah, I do praise the uh, I do praise the game or the the mod makers, but I also don't like the fact that they they just rearranged so much in the the interface. I got used to was getting used to one way, and then they changed it along me. So fuck, I don't know. Put it right here. I'm going to need several of these. And probably save a spot here for one of those. In fact, it would actually be better to move the Senate forward, because that is where the uh, good vibes are going to come from. So if they're going to carry on together here, let's put one warehouse connector here. I just don't like wasting so much space. Oh, wait a minute here. So if I do this... Really, ideally, I should be m moving it off just a little bit, but there's not really a good place to do that anymore. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'm going to need to build housing over here, whether I like it or not. There's going to be a lot of it, but I would just like to make it contained and sustainable as much as possible. So this one actually I do not need there. Because what I actually want is... That is, that is, these ones up here are going to be the goods for the people. This one down here, or here, right, well, it's out of, it's out of its range here. Um, could I bring this back a little bit? There's just a dead space there, and I don't like it. Ah, oh, fuck it. Screwing around too much. Okay. Special orders. Accept nothing except weapons. This will be getting the weapons. Maybe we should just accept the weapons. Um, okay. Let's open this up. Eight percent employment. Again, if I knew how many people were coming, I could anticipate ahead of time what I need to build. I guess then we can just go straight into this and I don't have a trade partner yet. We need to go back to the map Pay for that. There we go Well, we're probably gonna need a loan before this pays off, but hopefully it won't be too bad um, I will take four because I do want to get started on building a military so that I can send it over to wipe these guys out. Maybe I will do the... What does this say about the missionary? Caesar is traveling this month on a matter which need not concern Missions. Posts, your I, the Emperor's Proconsul for with Roma, you. You see cards shall explain your okay. next... Well, how much exactly does this now see if I do if I do this? So another thing, um, they completely wipe out the road system and redraw the road, uh, which indeed it is rather inefficient. And so if you want a loop in here that catches everybody, you gotta do a bunch of funky things. In fact, they might not even need a road. This guy's just out here on his own.
I'd like to build up my unemployment a little bit more than that because I'm going to need some for marketplaces and whatnot. We're not getting any more, so... That is... that appears to be full. I guess I could tell it to get. Apparently the thing about getting, though, is that, um, let me tell you what, we don't need one of you just yet, let's swap you out for a weapons maker instead. And I shouldn't be building there either, because that's where I need to be building my pottery, my clay pit. So, let's rearrange. Here. Be better. I don't know if I'll get the pottery in here or not. If not, I'll send it along the backside or something. But I would like to have a little bit of an export industry. Uh, and I guess one thing I can do, we're not going to get much tax revenue. But I can go to put, put down the forums. Let's put down a marketplace first. Let's just put it in one place for now. Um, For this one, just to test it. Let's do that. Let's come in here, and this will be the only one that gets. <laughs> so, I guess in this game, the getting uh, overrides supply chain, meaning that, you know, where we could daisy chain having resources here, like gathered here, and then they would hand it off to the next one, they'd hand it off to the next one. Um, apparently, if I say get, they're going to go all the way from wherever they can to that one first. Uh, this mod does have the ability to turn that off. In the last map, though, it seemed like they were loading up the one that was right next door to them before carrying on. Um, and I think we need to do this daisy chaining anyway, because... Clearly by the time they get back, they're already full, so we need to put the burden upon the warehouse distributors before anything else. I've also turned off the uh, warehouse lady handing out food on her way back. That doesn't appear to be what's going on here, though, because when she's walking by here, she's still delivering. These have gone up. I'm a fan of that. And yeah, so I'm telling this one to get. They're not moving the resources up here. This is just the first one they're encountering. There's no people. You want to explain that one to me? It's not adjacent to a road. I see. So it did need the road. So it did need to be moved over back where it was, so we could have the road come down here. All right. Well, I'm going to fix that. Put it back the way it was. We'll have to spend some time waiting for the food to get over there. That is going to cause a little bit of a snafu because of the way these things work. Um, yeah, that's going to be that's going to be an issue. I might be able to get away with it if I put a piece of road in between them, space it out that way. So we'd only have four on this side, potentially having more on the opposite side. That might work. And then we could still maintain this road blockage. I don't know. I'll try something. I'm going to end this one here. I'll see you next time.